I will go to the broader questions that I identified, uh, which is an inquiry, you know, or rather the uh, questions I've dealt with in part one of the inquiry into how the investigations, the prosecution were conducted. In here, I want to go into the broader questions. The key question is whether the case was handled differently because of the status of the complainant or if there has been any improper influence. Uh, really, if I were to put it this way, did LML in any way influence these proceedings or was the case investigated and prosecuted in accordance with the rules like any other case? And I've said it earlier, and I'll reiterate. I can be categorical. There was no influence by LML. It was treated as any other theft case and handled accordingly. We have checked with the IOs, their supervisor, the DPPs, and their director. They have confirmed this. There was no pressure or influence exerted on them by LML or anyone acting on his behalf, and they handled this case as they have handled other theft cases.